Fire made flesh. Such is the nature of dragons, claim the Eastern mystics. For once they may have a point, though not the one they think. Fire consumes, leaving at its end naught but ash. Thus the fate of the Targaryens and their dragons. Thousands of years ago, Valyrian stumbled on the first dragon eggs in the mountains of the Fourteen Fires. I cannot imagine shepherds could hatch dragon eggs and bind such creatures to their will, but whatever aid they must have had is lost to history. Every educated person knows how the dragon lords then conquered most of the known world, breaking the ancient Giscari Empire, enslaving a continent, building roads and bridges that still stand today, though the art that made them is lost. An empire of marvels and misery. And now what is left of Valyria? A smoking wasteland. Ash. In time, Aegon Targaryen and his sisters brought their three dragons who had escaped the doom to Westeros, perhaps thinking to regain his people's lost glory. And so he did. On the field of fire, he proved that armies were no match for dragons. At Harrenhal, he proved that mighty castles weren't either. Aegon Targaryen became Aegon the Conqueror, first of his name, founder of a dynasty. His first act? To order his dragon Valerian, the Black Dread, to melt the swords of his beaten foes into his new Iron Throne. For over a hundred years, the Targaryen dragons cemented their breeders' hold on the Seven Kingdoms, if not each other. When Targaryen fought Targaryen in the civil war called the Dance of the Dragons, an angry mob stormed the Dragon Pit, that huge, now ruined vault where the Targaryens stabled their beasts. Thousands died, but through sheer numbers and madness, five of the Targaryen dragons lay dead by the morning. Which was perhaps too many. Thereafter, each generation of dragons grew smaller than its parents. Their skulls used to line the throne room of the Red Keep in order of birth. The oldest, Valerian, could swallow an ox whole. The last skull was barely the size of a dog's. Yet the Targaryens never stopped trying to revive their dragons. Arian Brightflame drank a draught of wildfire and burned to death. Aegon V tried to hatch stone dragon eggs with sorcery, and burned to death. Against these, Aerys II looks almost sensible. He only burned other men to death. <laughs> now we hear rumors that the young Daenerys Targaryen has hatched three dragons far to the east. If she were to be so foolish as to march on Westeros, she will not find, as her ancestor Aegon did, seven disparate kingdoms frightened by her strange beasts. She will find a continent united behind Lord Tywin Lannister, who extinguished her own father's flame. And we have known dragons now. We have seen them die.